Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know, my name is Tifa and today we are looking at the Aki Dearest Game Beauty collaboration. So for those who don't know, Aki Dearest is a YouTuber who mainly does things related to Japanese life and culture and started off doing a lot of like anime related content. One thing that Aki is known for when it comes to beauty is her eyeliner. So she collaborated with Game Beauty in creating three different eyeliners, which I now have. So I am going to unbox her collaboration makeup collection and have a look and see what these eyeliners are actually like. Aki isn't exactly a beauty YouTuber and doesn't really do things to beauty related but she is known for always having eyeliner in her videos and she also does cosplay and as someone who also does cosplay it's kind of cool seeing that there are three different colors and I want to know how I can incorporate those in my cosplay. So let's open the box. Da, 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 da. I haven't looked in this or anything, so I'll be intrigued. Oh, okay. It's actually kind of cute because they have they've like printed their own like tissue paper. I don't know why. I think this is adorable. It has like little Nintendo switches and like um, uh, different controllers and stuff like that, like Xbox, PlayStation controllers, Nintendo um, 64s and stuff like that. It's it's pretty cool. I like. It. I like the tissue paper, I'm sorry. Now I have to actually unwrap it, even though it's like so pretty. Okay. Ooh. I really kind of like the packaging for this as well. Um, I think all the eyeliners are like black and blue, but the packaging's really nice. Let me let me take them all out. Okay, so here are the three different eyeliners from the Aki Dearest Game Beauty collection. I actually think that the packaging is quite like luxurious for them as well. I think it looks really nice. I guess we'll start with start with number three. We'll go backwards. <laughs> um, we'll start with color number three, which is called Trench. It is this kind of like darker navy blue-ish eyeliner color at least that's what it looks like on the box so the box opens really nicely and i already got blue on my finger from doing that but um just looking at this like blue color on my finger it's already quite pigmented and has gone everywhere but we are going to swatch it on my hand and see what that looks like <laughs> that is quite a pigmented color as well like it's a really pigmented eyeliner the color is really nice as i do cosplay a lot of characters that have some sort of blue in them some of the characters have blue eyebrows i think this would be really helpful for that as well as eyeliner um and i'm a very big fan of these like felt tip eyeliners as well so i really like the color and i like this design of pen as well i really like the packaging yeah i think it's like fine enough I do like to be able to maneuver a lot with my eyeliner pen, so I think that it's it's pretty good. I like it. I really like the color. I don't think I've seen an eyeliner in this kind of dark blue color that's not dark blue. It's kind of like a dark teal. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. I think I would wear this on a, like a creative eye look normally as well, so yeah let's swatch the next one so this one's called aquarius it's more of a brighter more vibrant blue so i'm interested to see how this will actually look in comparison to the color on the eyeliner pens this is interesting because i thought because trench was such an opaque color i thought that the aquarius one would also be quite opaque but it's it's not really that opaque it's very different from the eyeliner that I have here. <laughs> the the color at the bottom, whereas I feel like Trench, the first one that we swatched, looks exactly the same as the color on the box. I feel like this is a lot less vibrant. Um, some people might like that, that might be cool, but I do like my eyeliners to be quite opaque, so probably won't end up using this one as much, but as a cosplayer, this would probably 
work a lot for, I don't know, little things like eyebrows, I guess, or um, I don't know, maybe if you're outlining something before you put other color over the top, I think it would be good. But it's not as opaque as I would like it to be, which is quite interesting in comparison to the last one we just swatched. So yeah, they do dry quite fast though, which I like. And the last one we're looking at is the classic black eyeliner. I also really love that all of these eyeliners have the little like Aki Dearest on the eyeliner pen and it just looks really cute and well designed. So I really do like the packaging for these. I think the packaging is just, it's just so great. It's phenomenal. <laughs> now I'm sure the black one will be really good. I'm sure it'll be as opaque as the trench eyeliner as well. So you know, I'm always looking for more black eyeliner pens and I actually think that the tips of these are really good they'll work really well for graphic eyeliner looks so they're perfect for a cat eye just like Aki does so let's swatch it and see so this is shade one volcanic and I think it is quite opaque but for some reason I feel like the first color we swatched trench ended up being the most opaque out of all of them I do think this dries quite well it's easy to use but it's still not as I don't know, as black as I want it to be, as dark as I want it to be. It is still quite nice, it's very easy to use, and you can get like quite nice points with it as well. I don't think it's a, a bad eyeliner, I think it's a pretty decent one, but I think I have personal favourites that are better than this particular one. But the eyeliner that has impressed me the most in this collaboration slash collection is the trench one that I can't stop talking about. This blue color is just so lovely and it is so opaque and just nice. I really like the designs of each of the pens but I just think color and opacity that's probably my favorite one. The black works fine as well. It's your average black eyeliner. I don't know. It's There's nothing bad to really say about it. I just think that the trench one is actually kind of like the hero product out of the three. Um, so that's one that I would probably repurchase if I ended up using it a lot. Now all of these dried pretty fast so let's see if they smudge if I like move my finger across it and things like that. So yeah let's test the durability of these eyeliners at the moment. Okay, they seem pretty stuck on there. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like the way it dries. I like that it stays on there, so I'm not gonna accidentally smudge it or anything like that. So that's really good and Hopefully that means that it'll be long lasting as well. I'm gonna now apply the black eyeliner to my eyes and see how easy that goes for me. <laughs> I was gonna do it here, but I'm just gonna quickly pop away from the camera and try it and then come back. I just, um, I don't have a mirror that's gonna stand here to be able to do it in front of the camera. I'm very sorry. I'll be back in a second. So this is one I done. I think it applied really well and I think that it came out darker than the swatches, but we'll see when it dries, if it dries a little lighter, or if it stays in this kind of darkness. So that's the second eye done, and this is both of my eyes with the Aki Dearest Game Beauty collaboration eyeliner. It does seem like this one in particular dried quite dark in comparison to the swatches, and perhaps that's because I just took it out of the box as well, and swatching it kind of like, brings it into action if that makes sense. So I do think that this is quite a nice eyeliner as well. It's easy to use and it's very pigmented. I also like the sharp point. If I had to rate these three eyeliners, I still think that Trench is probably my favorite, even though I'm not wearing it today. I will probably test this out pretty soon on my own eyes. I think the color is fabulous and I think the opacity is just, it's beautiful. It's such a unique and beautiful color, I feel like. So yeah, I highly rate this one. I'd probably give it like a an 8.5 out of 10. I think that it's really good and I really like the color. It's not as versatile as other colors perhaps, but I personally really like this. I think my next favorite would be the classic black eyeliner, which is volcanic. I think that this one does look really good on my eyes. It's easy to use and it doesn't mix with the eyeshadow that I'm already wearing. Whereas some other eyeliners, when you put them on, um, the eyeliner itself picks up the eyeshadow and it makes it difficult to actually draw on 
your eyeliner. So I think this one's really good. I really like the black. I don't think it's as good as the trench color. I don't know, maybe that's just because trench is more unique, but this is a really good classic black eyeliner. If you're a fan of Arki, I think you should probably snatch these up before they're all gone. <laughs> but yeah, I'd probably give this one an eight out of 10 as well. Last on my list would have to be the Aquarius one. I really wanted this to be super opaque in this like, gorgeous vibrant blue color it's not as opaque and it's still useful but as an eyeliner i probably would not wear this one because it's not as i guess bold or graphic as eyeliners usually are um but points for effort i guess <laughs> i'd probably have to give this one a 6 out of 10. It's still useful and nice, but I don't think it works as well as an eyeliner. But there you go. That's my review of the Aki Dearest Game Beauty Collaboration Eyeliners. I love this little collection. I love that they were just eyeliners. It was something that's kind of unique and known to her as well and it kind of falls into the cosplay category so it doesn't step too far out of the kind of content that she already creates. I also love Game Beauty as a brand. They are cruelty free. They create really awesome gaming related makeup, which is so super cool. And they work with really cool creators as well. So yeah. Let me know down below if any of you actually bought this Aki Dearest collaboration at all. I know that she has quite a diverse audience, so not everyone's gonna buy this and that's why she has other items of merchandise such as like figures and uh, graphic novels, <laughs> um, digital graphic novels that others can purchase. But for those who are fans, I would love to know how many people actually did purchase this and what they do think. So yeah. If you liked this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more otaku related content, then don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.